2000 to 2009. It was the warmest decade on modern record. How do we know? It's what we do. NASA has satellite missions monitoring climate. They're up there right now, gathering data, analyzing trends, and sharing both raw data and results with everyone for free. Why are temperatures rising? Why aren't changes the same everywhere? How are humans contributing to climate change? What changes are already occurring today? Find out for yourself. Our warming world at nasa.gov. Climate scientists at NASA's Goddard Institute of Space Studies, or GIS, just released a new analysis of global average temperatures showing that 2009 was tied as the second warmest year ever recorded. And looking just at the southern hemisphere, 2009 even broke the record as the warmest year ever in this half of the world. In fact, 2009 was virtually tied with five other recent years in its position as second warmest on record, 1998, 2002, 2003, 2006, and 2007. And it was only a fraction of a percent cooler than the warmest year, 2005. Yet when looking at global temperatures over a longer time frame, these scientists found a persistent warming trend over the past three decades, with the average global temperature increasing by roughly a third of a degree Fahrenheit per decade. This past decade, from 2000 to 2009, was the warmest yet. And when looking back all the way to 1880, the year when precise temperature record keeping began, scientists observed about a one and a half degree Fahrenheit rise in global temperature. There are already beginning to be effects of one or two degrees warming. And if we get five or 10 degrees warming, several decades downstream, there will be huge effects. GIS scientists came to these results after analyzing information from three sources data from more than a thousand weather stations around the globe, satellite observations of sea surface temperature, and measurements from Antarctic research stations. So what's the cause of this long-term warming trend? While there are several natural processes that can cause subtle climate warming or cooling, like variations in solar activity, fluctuations in ocean currents, and volcanic eruptions, Climate scientists believe that the rising levels of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases are the dominant factor driving the rise. If we want to limit climate change and keep it under an additional one degree Celsius or two degrees Fahrenheit, we would need to begin to decrease the CO2 emissions gradually uh, so that by the end of the century, CO2 stopped increasing. So while 2009's temperature may not have been the global record breaker, it is in line with the long-term trend telling scientists that the planet is getting warmer.